Is it possible to transfer one's consciousness across generations? And is it true that the royals own and use these types of technologies? This information can be found in literature, movies, and on internet. And also, are there a lot of people in our reality who we consider to be human, but who are not people at all? They are entities, programs, whatever else, but they have nothing in common with humanity as we know it. Yes, colleague, the answer to all your questions is yes. Yes, there are such technologies. These are the technologies of the ritual. They are usually passed on in old families, in ancient families, passed via blood. You can trace the families who use this ritual by one very interesting fact. They never bury their ancestors into the ground. They always possess their private sarcophagus, which is arranged in a specific way. First of all, it has architectural qualities via a particular geometry. And secondly, it never touches the ground. It is done so that the information of the bones, information of the genus, does not dissolve in the ground. That is, when something is dissolved in the ground, it is dissolved completely. Everything is simple. It becomes a common property of the earth. It is no longer personified. They need to preserve their ancestral memory from generation to generation. Therefore, numerous forebears, a number of ancestors must be buried and pass through the sarcophagus. There are such episodes, for example, when a person of royal blood dies in a battle or in an accident, then a certain part of their body, a heart, for instance, is necessarily buried in the ancestral sarcophagus. This indicates that the ritual will be maintained. Then the ritual is performed. In my practice, it's called a ritual. Some people call it technology, whatever. Certain ritual actions are performed, which capture the transfer of consciousness via the blood. Sometimes it can be sealed for the time being, awaiting for its host. And sometimes it is transferred directly to an already born or about to be born baby. Yes, such technologies do exist and they are using them left and right because to lose the ancestral memory is to lose the right to power and they do not want to lose the right to power. They have invested too much blood, both foreign blood and their own, in order to get this right. Then you ask if there are people who are not human, who are the entities and programs. There are many more of them than you suspect. There are a lot of people who are soulless entities, but there are many more people who are programs that we used to call bots. And these bots exist, both in the informational environment and in the visual space that you observe. Not all people are human. That's right.